Hey everybody, Fox Rose here, and welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. So, as you all know, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is going to be coming out very soon. When this video goes up, it'll probably be the next day. So, I wanted to do something a little special, and kind of just buck around with Cyber Sleuth, and just have fun. So, what's going on today? Simple. I'm going to be doing a bunch of recording, and as of now, there is no real schedule. This isn't an official thing, it's officially going to be no schedule, it's just uploading when the videos get done, etc, etc, etc. What's happening to Tokyo nowadays? <laughs> Detective Mariyoshi is real impressive for being able to keep up with all this. But that's the basic gist of what I wanted to say for this. I'm getting back in the swing of recording, so I'm going to be a little slow. When it comes to talking to you guys, it's been a good while, and I actually got a job recently, so hell yeah, but uh, I'm still adjusting in my head all the different times and shit. Um, this has not been touched since the last episode, which I'm pretty sure has gone up at this point, so that's a plus. Um, I'll be doing a lot of Let's Play stuff in the coming days and weeks. So, please be on the lookout for that. Um, what else do I need to talk about right now? Um, my new job will take up a decent amount of time, so videos may not be coming out as frequently as I like. That's why the schedule is gone. Pretty much, when a video is done, I will be uploading it straight to YouTube the moment it is ready. So, please bear with me during this period until I figure out the schedule in my head and all that all over again. It's gonna be a bit of a journey. For all of us, I think. Actually, how are we doing on stats? Ooh. Shit. Man, it's been a long time since I actually played this. Kind of forget where some of my guys are. I forget where some of them are. I forget how strong some of them are. I heard some scare some screaming from father in, but I don't think I'll be any help. Maybe I should try to round up the kids out there. Out here. I don't know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> also, I just remembered Arata is with us, so yay! <laughs> Arata Senpai! You know it's been way too long for me. Oh lordy. So what's probably going to be happening this episode is we're going to get this little dungeon done, and then it'll be a break. Just warning. <laughs> hey, Bish. This is what all those rumors were about. Oh no, how'd I get mixed up with all this? In all this. I I English is my first language, I swear. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm not still in Eden, am I? No, I guess not. I think I need a few days off. Isn't that guy the fugitive from TV? No, 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 it's just, no, man. I never actually talked to them when I was doing all this before, so it's kind of like, ooh. I, I want to go home. It's okay, I'm, it's gonna be fine, we just need to find a way out. No big deal, I, I'm not scared. Hmm. Nice acting, kid. Nice acting. Time for a tomahawk stinger. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Shellmon Metal. Ooh, metal mames and normal mames. Hell yeah! Ooh, I'm legit excited now. <laughs> Do I have an all enemy attack? Not with you. But I do have it. With some of my guys, I gotta keep that in mind. Pretty sure War Grandmon has one. No. You know what? Just completely crush this one. And I know for a fact you do. Yeah, 45, so ba-boom, bitch! 
Hell yeah. And then how about a tomahawk stinger to the face? Bridge. Uh -huh. Ooh. We're getting so close, Metal Greymon. Just a little longer. That's all I ask of you. Just a little longer. Okay. Now, let's check out the team stats real quick. Ooh, you two are getting pretty close. They're all getting pretty close, actually. Yes, I can loop around. Hell yeah. No, I cannot. Fuck. Wait, is there anything over here? Because sometimes they put medals in the weirdest places, like you guys just saw in that bottom right corner. Okie dokie, Smokey. Yeah, let's aim for metal. Boom! Tomahawk Stinger! Yeah, yeah. Boom, bitch, get out the way, get out the way, get out of my way, bitch, get out of my way. It is too early to be doing this shit. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is going to take so much energy out of me when I start let's playing that shit. Yes, I, I did just admit I will let's play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I know the story of Xenoblade Chronicles 1, haven't beaten the game, but I know the story in its entirety, because I love the story, it's actually really interesting. But in all honesty, I know next to nothing other than gameplay on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and I want to go through the story with you guys as a whole, so that's why I will be let's playing it. That will be kind of a major front runner for the channel for a while. So expect a lot of that in the coming weeks. I will be playing every single moment of that game that I make on the channel. Everything I know, you guys will know. And if I need to do grinding, well, I will title an episode Grinding Chapter 1 <laughs> or some shit like that. Just make it kind of goofy. Okay, so let's see real quick. Oh shit! Metal Greymon just got pushed back. That's really hard to do. Metal Greymon is now my third strongest Digimon. That is insane to me. Okay. Let's take a look and see if anyone can Digivolve yet. Hey, Midday, it's been a long while. Ah, uh, you can become more Greymon, but not Black War Greymon. On. Uh, Anyone at all? Yeah, Giga Dramon, but not Rise Greymon, which is what I want you to be. You're at 29. One more level, and you'll Digivolve. I want you to be her, honestly, because we already have. If the picture is clear, we have that Digimon already. <sighs> this is the Tokemon? Yeah, this is the one that I've been trying to grind. Yeah, time to move some because levels and shit and yada yada yada. Okay. Uh. 
Okay. Works for me. Now then, let us leave. Anyone's curious what that sound is? I'm wearing my class ring, and I'm just tapping that finger on the controller. That's all. Okay. That is obstructing our path. So let's go up here. That's Mega Dramon? Question mark. They both look exactly the same. Don't do not judge me. I I love both of these Digimon, but they're both identical. Mega Dramon, I was right. I love Mega Dramon and Giga Dramon. They are some of my all-time favorite ultimate level design Digimon, but they're so identical. They're basically color swaps. In previous games, they essentially were. But in the modern games, they've actually changed them up a little bit. So one's more offensive, one's more defensive, but still. They essentially still are, like, color copies. Palette swaps, clones, whatever. A lot of Digimon can be like that, to be honest. We got a ruby! So we got a ruby, not... We got ruby. Hello, challenging Digimon enemies. Shall I slice you all open today? Let's rock! Boom! Tomahawk Stinger! And you! Ah, oh, jeez. Ugh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Yeah, why not? Atomic Blaster. And we'll let Okuomon have one turn. Just one. And you wasted it! You fucking moron! We're going all out here. Ha! <laughs> oh wow, so strong. Not idiot! Are you serious? Why the fuck would you miss? Okay. Ooh, mock rush. And you already have it attached. Hell yeah. Okay, let's just make sure. Okay, we're gonna heal the team for the SP stuff now. Wait. That's straight up 90. That was a waste. Okay. I'm gonna save right here, and then we're gonna jump right on into this part. Because I'm pretty sure this is a boss encounter. Don't know who, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's eaters. So I was right to save. Fucking eater pricks. I hate them. <laughs> Too late again, as always. Dang. If only I had more power. you! Fuck you for starting off with that fucking gay-ass shit. Fuck you! You're literally just making it so that Arata is the only one that can actually do anything to you right now. And I am not okay with that. Are, are you serious? Are you fucking serious right now? So the only way I can actually do this... Fuck you. 
It has to be War Realmon. War Realmon is the strongest Digimon. He, he has to be the one to use the skills. I have no other way to recover the sprite forms. That They're stuck that way. Until they die, they are stuck that way. It's literally just Arata in this fight. And I am not okay with that. much, but we need at least a little health. Are you serious right now? No, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. Legitimately, fuck you. This is some bullshit. I don't care if I just had a voice crack on camera. That is fucking bullshit. Texture field can fuck right off. Like, seriously. Arata, you need to start using good moves. You need to. You're literally the only one who isn't affected. You need to start using skills, bro. Agree, texture field is boosh. Can we all agree that, please? And now my team is literally just healing itself to keep up with this guy. Fuck this eater. Fuck the human eaters. The normal eaters, they're fine. The human eaters can fuck right off. I do not like them in the slightest. They look kind of cool, yes, but otherwise they're, they're fucking pricks. More spider shooter, please. We can't, you can't lower our intelligence or change our textures now, can you? Dick. Can we bring up the fact that the background is literally just purple, weird, like, static effects, please? That's not just the recording, that's legitimately how it looks. Why? Like, I get it, it's supposed to be kind of like a static backdrop, since we're in like a half-real, half-digital world, as of right now. But, that literally just looked like it's static from a TV. I cannot be the only one who thinks that. I cannot. Oh, finally, some actual power coming out of you, Inframon. It's not necessarily hard to win with the texture field in in action, but it doesn't make it pleasant. Yeah, I was just gonna say, don't you fucking dare.
Fuck it. Yeah, screw it. Boom! Please. Oh, that's better damage, but not good enough. Okay, three, four of our attacks in a row, and each lowered his defenses. This cannot screw up. There is no possible way we can screw this up. See? And everyone leveled up. Hell yeah! <sighs> Only ten. Come on. Arata? What are you doing next to that eater? Hey. What do you think, Fox Rose? What do you mean? Do these things ha even have any sense of intellect? They just eat and eat like crazy. What could their purpose possibly be? Allow me to answer that one for you. Suedo, you motherfucking prick! Cut the crap, man. Always showing up whenever you feel like it. Are you sitting back watching this disaster unfold like it's a form of entertainment? Observation and analysis are a researcher's duty. I go where I must. I am merely silent as I go. You also have fascination with eaters, I see, and you're researching them. Do you know what the eaters are after? <laughs> yes, you are definitely fascinated with them. I thought if anyone would be, it'd be you. This may take some time, but out of respect for your intellectual curiosity, allow me to share my research with you today. By the way, Arata, why do you eat? What is your goal in this act? My goal? That's kind of random. There's no real goal in eating. If I don't eat, I'll die. I'm a living creature. Now then! Wait, that's right! We eat to live! Now then, why do humans live? That's easy enough. We don't want to die, right? That is just a biological instinct, riding on the sparks of emotion and logic. Think on a more rudimentary level. Creatures live to save their progeny. This is why we adapt to our environments while passing down our genes. In other words, it is an evolutionary imperative. Evolution. 
そしてそれは人間もイーターも変わりはありません Exactly and in that regard humans and eaters are identical イーターは捕食したものをデータとして分解吸収し自由に書き換える能力を有しています Eaters pass and absorb, their, absorb what they've eaten as data. They even have the power to override their, that data as well. This is the phenomenon known to you as the bugging of data. This is merely one reaction to that ability. But the true power of eaters lies not in bugging. Their true power lies in their, in their ability to take the data they have absorbed and restructure it within themselves. By consuming their targets, they overwrite themselves and are reborn as new life. And in that, in, and that, in other words, is evolution. Eaters are, ca- are continuing to evolve as they devour their prey. So they're eating in order to evolve. So this eat on it, the ikiru koto toa, shinka suru koto, shinka shizu keru koto no ni, ikizu keru koto no de kiru no des. That's right! Life for eaters is evolution. Only by continuing to evolve do they live on. Nantomo subara si no yukuda toa omu yasenka, korezu, seme no kyukyoko no sugata to itta mo kanon de wa nai! Don't you find that such a marvelous ability? This, this is what the study of life is all about. For eaters, all existence is a chance to evolve. Take the world separating reality from the digital away. They don't care. To them, it's all just food. An eater's ability to hunt down prey allows them to achieve in an instant what has taken man an eternity. You allowed eaters. Damn it, Arta. Let me actually. Just don't stop like that. Let me actually read, you fucker. You allowed eaters to eat the dimensional wall so they could evolve. What are you and Kishibe up to? Yes, I did work with Miss Kishibe. It's true. Our goals were aligned for a time. But that only extended as far as the collapse of the dimensional wall. As Kishibe herself put it, she wanted to open the dimensional door. I was more interested in the wall. Semantically, they're the same. Once you go past the abstract. Wall, door, portal, it's all the same. Never mind all that. Are you saying you had another agenda? <laughs> Once the eaters erode the wall, the border between our world and the digital worlds will be history! 
現実世界はデジタルワールドの影響を受け常時デジタルシフトし続けるのリアルとデジタルの完全なる言うのリアルとデジタルの完全なる言うのそれが実現することで何ができると思いますか It will be a complete merging of the real and the digital. Think of what will be possible when that happens. It's not a question of what will be possible, and any and all things will become possible. Be possible to modify the real world at will, like overwriting a program in the digital world. Until you achieve the perfection you desire, over and over again. And that's your goal. It sounds like you're talking about the very evolution of the human race itself. That's one way to put it. To gain new power. We could call that evolution, I suppose. To gain new power. If there's something you want to be capable of, if you want to achieve Nirvana, chow down on something with the power and rewrite yourself. That is the fundamental means through which evolution occurs. One would be remiss to bemoan his situation while doing nothing to change it. And what about you, Arata? What will you do? What do you want? What will you become? Who? Me? By the way, Arata. What is it? Is there something that... You had best be careful. Huh? Behind you! <gasps> no! Those who cannot evolve... Those who cannot evolve will be weeded out. You mustn't dawdle. No. No. No! No! Arata. No! This kid again? You go! Well then, I'm glad you're back. We finally stand at the crossroads of evolution. And it would be for nothing if you would simply vanish. <sighs> How do you feel? I. 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 What the? You go! What what just happened? Well, I'll be. I 
Why? But I... Nothing has changed! I'm just some kid unable to protect anyone! Arata, are you feeling sad now? <sighs> it's alright now. Soon your sadness will be gone for good. My sadness will be gone. Come with me, Arta. Together, we can push this incomplete world to a new stage. And in so doing, making your wishes come true. <gasps> Arta, don't! Don't do it, this buddy! You're worried about me? I understand. You and I have been buds for a long time. But there's something big I've still got to do. And in order to take care of things... I need more power. Well spoken, Arata. I respect the nobility of your spirit and your bravery in the face of change. You are perfectly suited to this new phase of human evolution. If you wish it, there is no power you could not attain. Arata Sanada, is that truly what you desire? Kyoko! Kyoko? You're back? Yoko, what are you doing here? Who are you? Could you kindly leave us be? He has already decided the path he is to walk. Oh, shit. What do you think, Arata? This is power! You can rewrite programs that would modify the very rules of the world in real time! And that is but the faintest taste of it! Sorry, my mind's made up. I'm going. Arata, dude, why? You're sure you won't regret this? I've already been regretting something this whole time. Arata! Suedo! Don't. His will is strong. It's pointless to say anything now. But, but... What do you need to be doing now? Answer as my assistant. Slowly but surely, I'll find a solution at lightning speed. I have no idea what you just said. But it was a very you response. Let's see what conclusion that response leads us to, shall we? Now, 
It'd do no good to chase them too far now. Let's return to the agency. <laughs> Some exquisite coffee is waiting for us. Blah! I'm only making those sound effects because I recently joined with the Will, which if you don't know them, they're a wonderful form, but um, I found out recently that there's actually things that Kyoko Kuremi has made in the video games that can be purchased as real coffee, and my question is why? Oh god, no! That said, we won't have the time to savor it. Oh, thank god! Yes, save, and I'm gonna call it an episode here. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Comment in the comment section with all your tips, tricks, and all that shite. Subscribe if you're new. Favorite the video if you want, but who the hell favorites videos these days? Next time on the channel, we'll be kicking it in overdrive, I hope. This is Fox Rose, and I'm telling you all to rock and roll, dudes and vixens.